Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, Bethlehem and saints of God. Whatever time you're watching, we pray that today's Zoom Bible study will be a blessing to you. My name is Pastor Michael Eton. I serve as the pastor of the Bethlehem Baptist Church right here at 311 North Dunbar, 311 North Dunbar. And uh, we would love to see your face in the place in due time. Tonight you are involved with our Zoom Bible study. We will have an opening prayer, announcements, reading of the word, the introduction video, the Bible study itself, the invitation and the benediction. It's meant to last for 40 minutes from 6 uh, to 6.40. We pray that you will allow us to have this brief moment and time to prayerfully impact your life with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's open up in a word of prayer. Father God, we come today, Lord, just wanted to thank you and to praise your holy name, Father, for you're truly worthy to be praised, worthy of glory, honor, power, dominion, and might forever and ever, regardless of what's going on in our culture, in our society, or even in our own bodies. You are truly worthy to be praised. And today, we set apart this time to be about kingdom business. We set apart this time, O oh, Father, to study thy word. We want to thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in the life of the Bethlehem Baptist Church and the saints of God. In Jesus' name, have it this time. Amen. And praise the Lord. A few announcements. Uh, as I said before, I serve as the pastor of the Bethlehem Baptist Church here in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, 311 North Dunbar. Visit our website at www.heargodsword at Bethlehem.com. And I have to let you know that right now we're in our COVID-19 safety protocols, which means that we are not meeting in the sanctuary right now. So we want to encourage you to be connected to us like you are right now in what I call cyber church or virtual church. I want to thank you, Bethlehem, for staying connected with us in virtual church. Uh, we can't be together right now physically, but we can be together as the word of God says that we will worship him in spirit and in truth. So we're together in virtual church in spirit and the truth is going forward. We want to thank you for staying connected. We want to thank you for staying connected to Sunday school. We look forward to Sunday school every Sunday at 10 a.m. And uh, I send out the Zoom uh uh, codes to the Bethlehem Baptist Church, and uh, we also uh, try to broadcast it a little later at 6 p.m. at night, the Zoom Sunday School. So join us and stay connected with us in Zoom Sunday School. As always, uh, we'd love to see your face in that place. We'd love to see your face in that place. And also another announcement I want to share tonight is we want to thank those who have been staying connected with us financially, with your tithes and with your offerings. We praise God for your heart to give, and we pray that God will continue to open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you won't have room enough to receive. And I do believe that that's why right now we are thriving as a church. <clears throat> it's because of our giving. Take God at his word. God takes his word into your life and into places that you don't even realize at times with doors opening or a fence around you every day. So we want to thank you for your tithes and offerings. And we give three ways here now. Uh, the plates are left out in the sanctuary so you can place your offering in the plate in the sanctuary. Also, you can snail mail us or send us uh, U.S. Post Mail, Bethlehem Baptist Church, P.O. Box uh, 653 uh, or 563, 563. And uh, also, you can give online. Hear God's Word at Bethlehem.com. Go down to the last link on the page. Click the link to give your offering and you can give that way. But we want to thank you once again for your continued giving, for your continued giving. Uh, also, if you didn't get a chance to hear Sunday's word, uh, it was a mighty word. 
And uh, I send out a link on our Facebook page. You can get to our Facebook page at uh, Facebook, I believe, backslash Pastor Michael Eton. It's entitled Walk in Darkness for a Brighter Day. Walk in Darkness for a Brighter Day. It was an awesome word, and I want you to get that word for yourself and for your family, for your family. This last announcement, but not least, this Sunday, this Sunday at the 11 a.m. service, as we're not meeting in our sanctuaries on Sundays now, I was invited to come and share at the Ecclesia Church here in the Falls Valley, Oklahoma. Uh, the son of our church, the son of Bethlehem Baptist Church, one of our sons, Pastor Bruce Ford, is the pastor there. And this is our sister church. So I want to invite those who are led of God by the Spirit of God to come out from Bethlehem, if you feel led to, to join us in the sanctuary there at Ecclesia Church at Sunday at 11 a.m. Sunday at 11 a.m. So after we finish our Bethlehem Sunday School, I'm going to head on over, and I want you to head on over to Ecclesia here in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. We look forward to this special fellowship that we have with the Ecclesia Church. Now let's get into the Word. I started a series on... It was New Year's Eve, and this series was entitled Brighter, Brighter, and uh, I, I was believing that God was going to give us brighter days for 2021 as we left 2020, because 2020 was a dark time. And uh, I believed by faith that God was going to allow us uh, to have brighter days in 2021. 2021 uh, took off where 2020 left off. They are not as bright as I would like them to be, but I'm still standing on this word in Job 11, 16 through 18. Our memory verse for the year of 2020. Uh, 2021. It says, for you will surely forget your trouble. Who, who in 2021 doesn't need to forget some trouble that they're going through? Recalling it only as waters gone by. It's going to be like waters gone by. Life will be brighter than the noonday and darkness will become like morning. Life will be brighter than the noonday. Who doesn't need that noonday sun in their life now? We have gone through some dark days and darkness will be like the morning. Who doesn't uh, want the morning? As I said on several occasions now, Biden quoted that scripture, weeping may endure for a night, but Joy comes in the morning at his inauguration. This text says darkness will become like morning. Verse 18, I love. You will be secure. You will be secure, Bethlehem. You will be secure, saints of God, because there is hope. You will be secure for the word of God. Job 11, 18 says that there is hope. And if somebody listening at the sound of my voice, you need to know tonight, today, this morning, that there is hope. As you're singing the song, nobody knows the troubles you've seen. But God says that that trouble is going to pass away. That there is hope, even in a dark day. So. Uh, this new series, Brighter, is meant to encourage our hearts, our minds, and our souls in Christ Jesus. And we continue in this series, on this, in this Wednesday Zoom Bible study, with a message entitled, The Sunshine of a Brighter Day. We're going to look at Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. The sunshine of a brighter day. Let's read this text. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. 
But for you who reverence or revere my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its rays. You will go out and frolic like well-fed calves. You will go out and frolic like well-fed calves. Talking about tonight, the sunshine of a brighter day. This evening, this morning, whatever time you're listening, the sunshine of a brighter day. We're going to look at our own around uh, three points, three movements in the text. We're going to talk about the revere of a brighter day, the righteousness of a brighter day, and the rays of a brighter day. And we want Christians to know today that Christians should reverence and serve God for a brighter day. Christians should reverence and serve God for a brighter day. We're going to look at this brief video, then we'll get to For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen and praise the Lord. We're talking about tonight the sunshine of a brighter day. The sunshine of a brighter day. The context of this text is really a sad context because God talks about the judgment of the wicked. Um, and he seems to be giving this the same kind of terminology of what's going to happen to the wicked, uh, a visual, like uh, going to hell. There will be punishment for the wicked, as always in the Bible. There's always punishment for the wicked. Um, but I didn't want to focus on the punishment of the wicked tonight. But um, I do believe that America may be in all oh, that kind of judgment. Where God is punishing the wicked. I believe that maybe our churches are in that place where God is punishing uh, the wicked. Wicked of the mega church, the wicked of the small church. Because God is not impressed with a mega crowd if they don't know a mega God. I've said this many times before. I may not pastor at a mega church, but I do serve a mega God. And we've seen the power of the mega church during this COVID times and the power of the mega church and many other churches, smaller churches. The power resided, it seems, in the crowd, and the crowd is not there. There are thousands of people who showed up in the sanctuary, but those thousands of people, evidence of the fruit of it, may not have known God. We're under judgment. Ah, but there is, you say, preacher, what's the good news in text? I'm glad you asked. There is good news, Bethlehem. And saints of God is that God, as he punished the wicked, he never forgets the righteous. Hello, somebody. 
And this is why we can have those who are living righteous, those who are living holy, whether they go to a mega church. And it, I've always said at mega churches, there is a righteous remnant within every church, whether it's a mega church or it's a small church, there's a righteous remnant uh, and to which God seems to move uh, in the midst of that remnant. And God has uh, a word for the righteous remnant tonight. Uh, and the word for the righteous remnant tonight is that there is a sunshine uh, oh, for a brighter day. There's sunshine for a brighter day for the righteous because God says uh, in verse 2, right in the middle uh, of what he was talking about punishment. In verse 2, he says, he talks about, oh, the revere of a brighter day. He says, but you who are uh, who re revere my name, but you who revere my name. He was talking about punishment. He was talking about all oh, fire. He was talking about destruction of the wicked. Uh, oh, but in this text, uh, most preachers, good preachers always tell you, always look at that three-letter word, but, uh, because that could change uh, your life. Uh, that but could change uh, your situation. That but, uh, oh, can turn uh, it around again. Uh, that but uh, can cause healing of COVID. Uh, that but uh, can reopen the doors uh, of the sanctuary. That but uh, can save your job. Uh, that but uh, can make you get a similar check. Uh, that but uh, oh can enable you to pay your rent uh, even when you don't have a job. Uh, that but uh, when God's but uh, shows up, uh, you better look up uh, in Jesus' name. It says, but you. Now here's the key to this but. Uh, but you who uh, revere or reverence uh, my name. Uh, you who revere or reverence God's name. Uh, I can pronounce. Uh, oh, a brighter day on your life tonight. Uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, I can pronounce. Uh, a brighter day. Uh, on your life uh, today or uh, this evening, this afternoon, or uh, whatever time you're listening or uh, whatever place uh, you're listening, I can pronounce uh, hope for a brighter day uh, in your sick bed, uh, hope for a brighter day uh, in the hospital room, uh, hope for a brighter day uh, in America, hope uh, for a brighter day uh, in Oklahoma, hope uh, for a brighter day in Palm Valley, hope for a brighter day uh, at Bethlehem, those uh, who revere or reverence uh, oh, the name of the Lord, uh, this, uh, uh, do miracle signs uh, in wonders, those uh, who revere him uh, when they get him up uh, like Moses uh, can raise up uh, and God can cause uh, all a highway uh, in the midst uh, of a sea, uh, oh, those uh, who reverence uh, his name uh, oh, can go uh, and be healed uh, because that's what he says. Uh, go uh, and be healed uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, those uh, who reverence his name uh, oh, can have uh, hope uh, for a brighter day. Uh, oh, we can revere for a brighter day. Do you revere him today? Uh, oh, do you revere him today, church? Uh, oh, Oh, people of God, if you revere him, you know who he is. And if you know who he is, there's always hope. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the economists say. I don't care what the politicians say. Oh, when you revere, oh, the name of the Lord, that means you know him by name, in Jesus' name. Oh, says today but for you who revere my name you who revere my name I, I liked what Hebrews 12 and 28 had to say it says therefore since we received a kingdom which cannot be shaken listen to this church men of God who preach the word of God and have been shaken Oh, by this COVID, it has been shaken by other circumstances in your life. He says, therefore, we receive a kingdom which uh, cannot be shaken. 
Let us show gratitude, child. Oh, let us show gratitude uh, in the midst uh, of a dark time, in the midst uh, of a dark day, uh, in the midst uh, of lost loved ones, uh, in the midst uh, of lost jobs, uh, in the midst uh, of closed doors uh, of the sanctuary. Let us show gratitude uh, by which we may offer to God what? Uh, an acceptable uh, service uh, with reverence in all uh, we see all uh, oh if we know his name uh, oh we still offer to him uh, an acceptable service uh, oh just cause the sanctuary is closed uh, don't mean you shouldn't be serving God uh, oh just cause uh, the sanctuary is closed preacher uh, Oh, man of God, don't mean uh, that you shouldn't be preaching somewhere, uh, preaching uh, on YouTube, preaching on Facebook, preaching in your living room, uh, preaching on the corner. Oh, you better serve God. Uh, oh, Sunday school teacher, if you can't meet, uh, oh, in the sanctuary, maybe you can meet uh, in your home or in a Zoom set. Oh, we better continue uh, to serve God, uh, even in a dark day uh, because of what uh, it says with reverence uh, and uh, we serve him uh, with reverence uh, and uh, he's always uh, worth uh, to be praised choir even if you can't uh, oh be in the choir stand uh, you better reverence him uh, you better sing that song uh, where you can uh, in Jesus name uh, oh sing it on videotape uh, sing it in zoom uh, sing it in the corner singing in a nursery. Oh, we've got to reverence our Lord. Oh, we reverence in all because of who he is. I said because of who he is. He's worth it to be praised. He's worth it to be served. And when you reverence him, oh, doors will open in Jesus' name. Do you need some doors? Oh, to be open of healing. Oh, I know uh, they say the hospitals uh, oh, have too many oh, folk in it. Uh, oh, but when you name the name of the Lord, uh, he can do one or two things. Uh, oh, he can heal you where you are. Uh, or he can wake up, make a way out of no way in Jesus' name. Reverence or revere for a brighter day, saints. That's what we do. That's what we do because of who God is talking about. We want some of this sunshine for a brighter day. We want some of this sunshine for a brighter day. One thing I learned about uh, those sunflowers that really intrigued me is that sunflowers, uh, oh, they say sunflowers, they call them sunflowers uh, because they follow the sun. In the morning uh, when the sun is up, uh, Oh, when it rises, uh, the sunflower, uh, oh, turns to where the rising sun is. Uh, and then when the sun sets, uh, oh, the sunflower, uh, oh, is facing uh, the sunset. Uh, Oh, and we're talking about sunshine uh, or a brighter day. Uh, and here is the sun. Uh, oh, in the text, uh, the righteousness uh, of a brighter day, it says, but for you who, oh, re reverence uh, oh, my name, the sun uh, of righteousness uh, will rise. You say, preacher, oh, who is or uh, what is uh, the sun of righteousness? Uh, and in this text, uh, Oh, this is another name uh, for Jesus. Uh, Jesus is uh, the son uh, of righteousness. Uh, and if you want uh, oh, to make it through uh, such a time as this, uh, you better be like that sunflower and follow the son uh, of righteousness. Uh, oh, when he rise, uh, you better follow him. Uh, and when he sets, uh, you better follow him. Uh, it's time uh, for us to stop 
pray, church, uh, and truly follow Jesus. Uh, that old song back in the day uh, we used to sing was, uh, I have decided uh, to follow Jesus. Uh, no turning back, uh, and no turning back. Uh, is there anybody here uh, who the righteousness uh, of a brighter day? Uh, is there anybody here uh, needs the sun uh, of righteousness uh, to rise? Uh, Oh, there were folk uh, in the Bible that needed uh, the son of righteousness uh, to arise. Uh, uh, oh, the ten lepers uh, needed the son of righteousness uh, oh, to rise. Uh, and he said, go uh, and be healed. Uh, and the son of righteousness uh, rose. Uh, there were others who were hungry and they needed uh, the son of righteousness uh, oh, to rise. Uh, and he took that little boy's uh, happy meal uh, and he fed uh, over 5,000. Oh, some say it could have possibly been 15,000 men, women, and children because the son of righteousness rose. Oh, there was a man who was asleep. Oh, in the tomb. Oh, and there was no hope. It was three days after he died. But guess what? The son of righteousness came on the scene and rose and said, Lazarus, come forth. Is there anybody need something that's dead to come forth today? The son of righteousness has showed up at your address and says, what is it that you need? And he says, rise in Jesus' name. Somebody needs a risen hope for the marriage, a risen hope. Oh, for their job, a risen hope. For their school system, a risen hope. Oh, the son of righteousness is who brings us a brighter day. And we must follow him like the sunflower in Jesus' name. Jesus. Woo, this is a good word, saints. A good word. Luke 1 and, and, and 78 through 79 has this to say. Because of the tender mercies of our God. What? Wherefore the sunrise shall visit us from on high. Is there anybody need some sunshine like that sunflower? God says the sunrise will visit us from on high. To give light to those who sit in darkness is in the shadow of death. Is there anybody here? We studied about this Sunday, and I asked you to go back and look at that word about walk in darkness for a brighter day. This text says that God, oh, the Son of Righteous, shall visit us from on high and shall give light to those who sit in darkness. And there's somebody listening at the sound of my voice. You sit in darkness. You sit in the shadow of death. Oh, your loved one is tired. You're sitting in darkness. You lost your job. You're sitting in darkness. You got evicted. You're sitting in darkness. Your car got refoed. You're sitting in darkness. Oh, your children are out of school. And you're sitting in darkness. You don't know what to do. But God says he's got Oh, some sunshine for you. God says uh, he's going to visit you in the midst uh, of the darkness, in the midst uh, of the shadow of death. Uh, he says what? To guide our feet uh, in the way of peace. Uh, when we don't know what to do uh, in the midst of darkness, uh, God says, uh, I'm going to guide your feet uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, I said on Sunday, trust in the Lord uh, with all your hearts. Uh, lead not uh, to your own understanding, uh, but in all your ways, uh, acknowledge him, uh, and he will uh, direct your path uh, or make your path straight. God's going to visit you with some sunshine and give you some direction in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Talking about 
sunshine. A brighter day, said, anybody feeling the warmth of the sun now as a result of being in Zoom, Bible City, or listening on YouTube or Facebook, uh, 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 on Twitter, is there anybody who can feel the rays of a brighter day? He says this, this is what Jesus, God, is going to do. He says, we'll, ri we'll rise with healing in its Raise. Hello, somebody. Healing in its rays. That's why we have to follow the sun of righteousness. Like that sunflower follows the sun from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. Oh, and that sunflower knows. Oh, maybe what we don't know when it comes to the sun of God. That there's healing in his race. That's why you got to get in his presence. Oh, and that's why that's just a decided uh, oh, to sit at the feet uh, of Jesus uh, because there's uh, healing uh, in his race uh, just to be uh, at his feet, uh, just to be uh, in his presence. Uh, there's healing uh, in his feet. Uh, there's healing uh, in his presence. Uh, when we reverence his name, uh, oh, we get uh, the healing that we seek in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Now, he uses a, a terminology that we city folk probably won't be able to understand, and you will go out and frolic like a well-fed cat. You city sickers may have not seen, and I'm a city sicker too. I'm talking to myself. But I, I watched... Uh, a uh, survivor uh, show in uh, Texas it's about a survivor camp in, in, in that survivor form saves sick goats or horses or, and, 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 and every once in a while what happens is he will show us put the camera on on uh, the goats and they're just Fat, they're fatty, fat. And, and, and some of you have already knows what it's like to frolic like a well-fed cat. Because you're well-fed and you're blessed because you have been in the presence of the sun. And I can say that's what I am. Oh, I frolic. Oh, because I've been in the presence of the sun. Oh, and I've had, oh, about five years ago, a weight issue because I was well fed. Oh, and I was frolicking like a well fed cat. I've been blessed and highly favored. And so Somebody at the sound of my voice, uh, you better get this point uh, in Zoom Bible study when you spend time uh, in the presence of God. Uh, there's healing in his race. Uh, and as a result, uh, you will be blessed uh, beyond measure. As a, as a result, uh, even when other folk are sick, uh, you'll be well. Uh, when other folk uh, are sick and dying, uh, you'll get sick uh, and get well again. Uh, in Jesus' name, that's what it's like to frolic uh, like a well-fed cat. Uh, when other folk uh, are being uh, laid off, uh, God has kept uh, your job. Uh, oh, when other folk kids uh, oh, out of school, God has kept uh, your child. Is, God has kept uh, and has caused you to frolic. Uh, oh, even in a time uh, of trouble, in a time uh, of darkness, God, uh, because you've been in his presence uh, like that sunflower you follow him in the morning all the way until the evening. You stay in the presence of his race because there's healing in his presence. And God says tonight, oh, what is it that you need? There's healing in his presence. What is it that you want? He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask and all that you Oh, that you want, that you think, that you can't imagine in Jesus' name. This last point, I'm running out of time. This last text, Psalms 84, 11. 
for the Lord God is a son. Hello, somebody. Oh, and there's healing in his race. The Lord God is a son, and there's healing in his race and a shield. Is there anybody here needs God to be a shield? I was mailing one of my preacher friends about how this COVID time has changed the church. I said, them same folk that used to sing Jesus be a fence all around me every day. Oh, for God's sake, uh, that Jesus could be a fence uh, and a running scourge uh, because of COVID. Because uh, they don't believe uh, the song that they sung. Uh, they don't believe uh, that he can be a fence uh, all around them every day. That says tonight uh, in Psalm 84, I'm still a fence. Uh, I'm still a shield. Uh, and if I let down my shield, uh, if I let down my fence, uh, oh, I'm doing to you what I did. Uh, oh, to Brother Joe, I, I want you to glorify me regardless of the circumstance. I want you to reverence my name regardless of the circumstance. Can you reverence him with COVID in Jesus' name? Oh, can you reverence him when he says no in Jesus' name? But he says in the text, and the shield, the Lord gave grace and glory. He withhold no good thing. That's what this text is talking about tonight. Man of God, Bethlehem. He holds no good thing from those who walk with integrity. He holds no good thing. He holds no good thing for those who walk in integrity. And that's why we can have sunshine. Oh, for a brighter day. Even in the nighttime, we can have sunshine for a brighter day. That remnant. Oh, that I talk about. I want you to be encouraged because God says tonight uh, that he holds no good thing uh, for those who walk uh, in integrity. He will hold no good thing uh, from you in 2021 uh, in the same way uh, he held no good thing oh, from you in 2020. It was a dark time, uh, but I frolicked uh, in 2020. It was a dark time uh, oh, in the beginning of 2021, uh, but I frolicked in Jesus' name. Oh, I may have been sick. Oh, but I got well. I frolicked. Oh, I may have had to go through some dark days and some dark times, but I never gave up. And you never give up because God will withhold no good thing from those who walk in integrity. Thank you for joining the Zoom Bible study tonight. I'm running out of time. We talked about the sunshine of a brighter day. We want Christians to know that Christians should reverence and serve God for a brighter day. And before we get away tonight, I have to let you know who the son of righteousness is. You heard me talk about him. And if you don't know the son of righteousness, the son of of righteousness, then you won't be able to have sunshine, the sunshine of a brighter day, because you don't know him. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He's the son of right, uh, uh, the son of righteousness. He is God's only son, S-O-N, God's only son, but he is the son, S-U-N, of righteousness, God's only son. Ah, uh, his. God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish like he was talking about in verse 1. Shall not perish, shall not go to hell, shall not burn, shall not end up as ashes. <clears throat> oh. What you've got to do is you've got to believe Jesus is who he says he is. Jesus said that I am the only way to God. There are no other ways to God. I've heard the, many folk are hearing that there are many different ways. To, uh, Jesus didn't make that claim. Jesus said, I am the only way. That's why that text says, the only begotten son. I'm the only way to God. And if you want to have sunshine of a brighter day tonight, then you've got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. By simply praying this simple prayer, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. 
come into my life as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Come into my life as my Lord and Savior. I give up my life tonight, today, and I exchange it for your life. I said, I'm not preaching easy believism that you just accept them and you run on your way and you've been saved from the penalty of sin. No, you're saved to serve. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, you give everything to him, your will, your way. And so it's not easy believism. So you better stop and think, brother, do you want to give your complete life? I said, Lord, and save me. Lord and Savior, you're willing to pray that prayer or have prayed that prayer. I want to welcome you to faith, Christian faith. And if you're anywhere near Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, Garvin County, after these, pro uh, these COVID protocols are over and the sanctuary is reopened, we'd love to see your face in the place at 311 North Dunbar here in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. Visit our website, www.heargodsword at Bethlehem.com. Fill out that visitor's form and let me know that you pray to accept Jesus Christ. And I will give you a call if you stay here in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. You can fill out that form as well if you're anywhere in our nation. We do have some uh, contacts nationally. And I, I would love to try to find your church home. you got to get a church home as you pray this prayer. Again, Bethlehem, I want to thank you um, for being with us in the Zoom Bible study. I want to remind you, we want to see you this Sunday in Zoom Bible study or Sunday school, 10 a.m. And those who are led after that, I want you to meet me over at Ecclesia here in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, as we go and to encourage you for our son in the ministry, Pastor Roots for We look forward to joining him there. Let's give this benediction. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy name, Father, for today's word. And we pray, Lord, that you may manifest your word in our lives. We might have that sunshine of a brighter day because we stand on your word. I want to thank you, Father, for tonight's word. We pray, Lord, put your hedge and protection around us. Be that fence all around us every day. Be that shield, your Bible, the Bible says you can be. Hedge and protection around us. We are saved from our harm and danger until we meet again. Amen. And praise the Lord. We look forward to seeing you. This Sunday, may God bless you and keep you is my